All right, friends. Mrs. Balatoni is getting ready to write in her diary. I would want you to follow so that you know how to do it when it's your turn to write in your diaries in Spanish. All right. A couple of things to keep in mind before we start. We want to make sure that we are starting our sentences with a capital letter. We want to make sure that we are putting spaces between the words. We want to end our sentences with punctuation. So you can either put a period, a question if you are asking a question, or an exclamation point if you are expressing a strong emotion. Okay, that is very important. Now, what should you do when you come to a difficult word that you want to express, but you're not sure of how to write it? You need to sound it out. Very good. Okay, so that's a very good strategy. You sound it out and you try your best with the spelling. All right, here we go. Remember, in our uh, writing in our diaries is just like writing a story about our lives. Okay, so I am going to describe an event that happened to me this morning. Okay, I'm going to start with a date. Oh, and one more thing, you are going to watch as I underline connecting words today. The connecting words are those words that we need to use in our writing to connect our ideas. It makes our writing flow and it makes our ideas connect to one another. All right, so I'm going to be doing that in my writing today. All right, here we go. Today is December 10th, 2020. Dear Diary, This morning, this morning, something, something scary happened, happened, period. This morning, something scary happened. I went to feed my birds. My birds. You know. You know that, you know that I have five, five birds. But this morning, One was miss, miss, missing. One was missing. Where, where can it be? Where can it be? I wondered. Where can it be, I wondered. I looked everywhere. First, I looked in the lanai. The lanai is like a balcony. He was not there. He was not there. Next, I looked 
in the bedrooms. Next, I looked in the bedrooms. He was not there. Then then I searched under the couches I searched under the couches in the dog's crate in the dog's crate. Nothing. Nothing. Then I heard a tweet. Then I heard a tweet coming, coming, coming from, from the bathroom. Bathroom, bathroom, closet. Hmm. I was so worried, so worried by now. All right, let's go to the next page. I followed the sound opened the cloth. Cl cl Closet d d door and finally there he was I was so happy to see him. He was, he was a little frightened, a little scared. He was a little frightened. But now, he is okay. What a scare he gave me. Me. This morning more morning what a scare he gave me this morning all right i think i'm going to stop there i'm going to read it one more time let's do it together december 10th 2020 dear diary 
This morning, something scary happened. I went to feed my birds. You know that I have five birds, but this morning one was missing. Where can it be? I wondered. I looked everywhere. First, I looked in the lanai. That's like a balcony. He was not there. Next, I looked in the bedrooms. He was not there. Then I searched under the couches. In the dog's crate. Hmm. Wait a minute. I searched under the couches in the dog's crate. Well, the couches are not in the dog's crate. I'm gonna use a connecting word here to make to make this sound better and make more sense. I could say I searched under the couches and in the dog's crate. So I searched under the couches and in the dog's crate. That makes more sense. Nothing. Then I heard a tweet coming from the bathroom closet. I was so worried by now. I followed the sound, opened the closet door, and finally there he was. I was so happy to see him. He was a little frightened, but now he is okay. What a scare he gave me this morning. All right, friends, did you see how I did that? Today I described an event that happened to me this morning. All right, so you could do the same thing. You can talk about something that may have happened to you today or something that happened to you yesterday, all right? And you feel very strongly about it and you want to write about it in your diary because you want to remember it, all right? All right, have fun writing. Um, you remember you are doing it in Spanish and you are submitting it. So you are posting it on, on, a, on Class Dojo. All right, friends? All right, enjoy, have fun, bye.